Hey, I'm Dr. Spencer Nadolski, and my goal today is to teach you a little bit about how type 2 diabetes happens and what to do about it. Uh, it's a little passion of mine and my brother's and kind of the reason why we created our website, leanerliving.com. So, let me give you a first little overhead of what's going on right here. And the key right here, the sugar is represented by these little sugar cubes, of course. Insulin is represented by the key. The insulin receptor is uh, represented by the ignition. And the glucose transporters are, that are inside our cells that take up the uh, glucose and sugar is represented by this red sugar truck. So let me give you an overview of what goes on when we eat uh, sugar or any type of carbohydrate, mostly anyway. You see right here my guy up here, he's eating some sugar. It comes in, we digest it, it gets into our bloodstream, right here. Our pancreas senses that sugar and sends out insulin, the key. As the sugar gets down to our cells, insulin, the key, gets into the receptor, the ignition, and turns it on. The cell sensing that uh, ignition being turned on, turns on the little sugar truck, the glute, uh, glute receptor, or glute uh, transporter, glucose transporter, and it comes outside into, uh, to accept the sugar from the um, bloodstream and bring it into the cell where it can be used as energy. This is what happens in, an, in a healthy individual. Um, basically, uh, anybody that doesn't have any insulin resistance on the other hand, when the same thing happens for an insulin resistant person, they eat the sugar, the, the carbohydrate, whatever, pancreas senses it somewhat, sends out the key. Now the problem is, is that when the key goes in the ignition, it doesn't work so well for some reason. So what it does is it keeps sending out more and more keys, you know, vroom vroom, trying to get it started, trying to get the sugar truck started, the glucose transporter. So the, while that's happening, the uh, sugar is accumulating in the bloodstream, which is obviously um, not good. It gums up everything, basically. That's why it uh, causes neuropathy and kidney problems, eyesight. It gets in the small little uh, micro ves uh, uh, ves uh, vessels and um, gums it up. Why does this happen? Well, it's, it's, there's a few different theories, but one of the theories and biggest theories right now is there's something called adipokines. It's basically these hormones being secreted by uh, belly fat, uh, visceral fat. See right here represented by a guy with the increased uh, abdominal obesity, big waist circumference. We call them the ignition jammer. Something gets stuck in the ignition or they drain the battery or they slash the tires of the sugar trucks. Now, uh, what can you do about it? There are a few different things. Obviously, the number one thing to do is to get rid of these adipokines, and you, you do that by losing that uh, abdominal um, fat. Um, another way is to uh, eat less carbohydrates, less sugar, really, um, and that will uh, decrease the need for the insulin or the keys to come grab it out of the, uh, the blood vessels. Another thing you can do is obviously exercise. Now what that does is jump starts these sugar trucks, hot wires it, it and, and gets it out of the cell to grab the sugar regardless of insulin. So you don't even need insulin. Another thing is berberine. Obviously we're biased, we sell berberine. But that it, the reason we sell it is because it's so powerful. That takes the place and doesn't even need insulin to get the sugar truck out to grab the sugar. Other things, obviously, people will start injecting more insulin to, to really force this ignition to start going. Other people, uh, there are other drugs that can um, jumpstart your sugar trucks, uh, like the TZDs and metformin, uh, other drugs like... Um, uh, exenatide, the GLPs, those will actually help you um, 
make more of the insulin and things like that. But basically the bottom line is that we need to somehow get rid of this, this abdominal obesity, and go back to being healthy and using our insulin correctly and getting the, the uh, sugar into our cells like a normal person would. I hope that makes sense. If not, I might have to redo this video. Alright, thank you.